So, uh, my name is Ioannis Jordanis, and I'm going to present a study with respect to the improvement. Uh, improvement uh, of classification accuracy using conditioned Latin hybrid tube sampling in supervised machine learning. This study was prepared by Professor Christos Kukubinos, Iliana Silu, and me. First, the motivation for this study will be presented together with a brief reference to related publications. You will be introduced to the key idea and the objectives of this assessment. Also, the methodology and the main results will be presented. Uh, finally, we will uh, conclude with the evaluation of the purpose method and suggestion for further elaboration and tests. The present study attempts to propose uh, approaches in order to resolve the problem of using big amounts of data for machine learning purposes. In our times, data are generally available everywhere and in huge amounts. But the creation, collection, and elaboration of too much data may be uh, extremely expensive and uh, time consuming. So the use of samples is mandatory. But not all samples are created equal. That means that some samples uh, not carry the same information load with respect to the learning task at hand. Uh, therefore, it is of great importance to explore the minimum sufficient training uh, set size. Latin uh, hybrid group sampling, LHS, was recently proposed as a sampling method based on covarities. Right. The method provides full coverage for, of the variety of every variable by maximal stratification of the marginal distribution, uh, initial results on, uh, on, uh, classifi uh, on classification tasks are very promising. This approach has uh, already been investigated in some very interesting papers. Uh, Lee et al. Uh, compared the Latin hypercube sampling and the single random uh, sampling in order to improve uh, the modeling speed of neural record model. More recently, a uh, conditioned Latin hypercube sampling was uh, combined with machine learning algorithms in order to examine how sample randomness affects soil mapping uh, accuracy by Young et al. In addition, an uh, indoor positioning system uh, based on ultra wideband technology was developed by Bayer and uh, Hambrachi in order to improve the measurement uh, accuracy of a wheeled robot using machine learning algorithm and uh, combining Monte Carlo and uh, LHS. Viana provides uh, these figures <clears throat> were three uh, examples of Latin uh, hybrid designs, LHDs, with two dimensions and 20 points are represented. Uh, the peculiar uh, edge case illustrated in figure A is a Latin hybrid with very poor space filling qualities. Randomization alone could improve the experimental design to the point presented by figure B. On the other hand, optimization of point placement, as discussed in the same study of Viana, would lead to the better choice as shown in figure C. <clears throat> in figure C. Uh, where uh, samples are more uh, uniformly distributed uh, over this domain. The advantage of uh, LHS over other sampling methods is that 
much uh, lower sample size is needed in order to obtain precision due to the uh, Latin hybrid properties such as space field. Uh, the aim of uh, the study is the examination of the response of advanced sampling uh, mechanism used in the state of the art machine learning processes. Uh, usually in ML tasks, samples from the original dataset are split into two subsets, namely train and test, using uh, random sampling. Uh, random sampling, RS, is a commonly used technique for splitting, while in many uh, cases, conditional and Latin hybrid tube uh, sampling, CLHS, uh, is proved also efficient for train and test splitting. In this study, CLHS is used uh, to split different kinds of data sets into train and test sets. So in order to evaluate CLHS performance, RS and CLHS are compared using different machine learning algorithms. The question is why we use conditional Latin hybrid group sampling and not just LHS. We can effectively use LHS when each parameter can have values within a frame without restrictions in the combinations of the multivariate variables. But uh, in the real world, this is not always possible, in uh, particular, particularly in some predefined datasets. On the contrary, using uh, CLHS, uh, the sample points are adjusted and exist in the population and space field is secured by stratification techniques and by the use of auxiliary data. And therefore, in this study, we compared RS and CLHS, which were applied to the data sets uh, presented here. Uh, machine learning algorithms were applied to the resulting samples, and finally, the results were evaluated. Let's say a few words now about the data sets. Uh, the Iris data sets consists of three classes, uh, 50 instances each, where each class refers to a type of, an, uh, of iris plant. Uh, four characteristics were measured, the length and uh, width of uh, the petals and sepals. Uh, the purpose of uh, the training is to predict the type of iris plant. Uh, the wine data set consists of 13 different uh, wine parameters, such as alcohol and dust uh, content, which uh, was measured for 178 samples. Uh, these wines were of three uh, different categories, and the aim is to predict the category of the wine based on the 13 measured parameters. And uh, the diabetes data set, uh, it's from the uh, National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, and then it, and it consists of nine parameters measured for um, 768 uh, sums. The target here is to predict whether or not a patient has diabetes based on these diagnostic measurements. Uh, uh, K nearest neighbors, KNN, decision tree and logistic regression are the ML classifiers used for this task. All three algorithms are widely used by a, for a, a supervised machine learning classification. Now, uh, the steps were as follows. First, we split each data set into train and test. Each dataset is being split into 80% train and 20% test datasets using two sample methods. Then, in particular for CLHS, the train dataset is being further reduced into 65%, 50%, and 40% in order to test the performance of CLHS using less training data points. In order uh, to plot uh, the data points and visualize the space filling property. With each sampling technique, 10 data points were selected uh, from each data set. In the next step, the classification 
of the test set was uh, performed applying the before mentioned uh, classifiers. The evaluation is done using the same uh, testing uh, data set each time, comparing the accuracy metric. Uh, confusion matrices were developed in order to identify how many data points are being misclassified. For each data set and uh, each column, after performing uh, standardization, 10 sampling points from RS and from CLHS were exported and presented here in order to visualize how uh, CLHS enhances Spanish feeling. We observe in Iris data set that the selected data points when using RS have very poor space filling qualities compared to CLHS, which is a better uh, option in terms of space filling. Uh, the same appears in uh, Wine data set and again in the diabetes data set. As we can see in the confusion matrices presented here for Iris data set, CLHS proved better training abilities in all cases, even with smaller sample sizes than RS. For example, using KNN ML algorithms on uh, RS, sample, uh, sample one point was misclassified. And instead of uh, Virginia, uh, was predicted as versicolor. Uh, the diagonal of these matrices uh, provides the correctly classified flowers, while everything out of the diagonal are misclassified. In case of the Y data set, the results are similar. Again, CLHS uh, provided better training no matter which supervised machine learning algorithm was used. In the case of diabetes data set, again, CLHS resulted in uh, more effective training in all supervised machine learning algorithms by dividing the sum of diagonal cells with the sum of all cells of the table, we calculate the accuracy presented on this table. Uh, here you can see the accuracy using uh, RS and the higher accuracy by CLHS, as well as the train uh, set size, which resulted in best accuracy. In all uh, ML uh, models, CLHS provided uh, uh, better accuracy than random sampling. In some cases, with CLHS, we have achieved an even absolute accuracy of 100%. <clears throat> and we observe that uh, in some cases, the score does not re uh, reduce when the sampling size is reduced, like here, uh, while we use CLHS, of course. Uh, now we close this uh, presentation, concluded that CLHS is very effective in the classification tasks of supervised learning, machine learning, and we would suggest to test CLHS in regression tasks using appropriate uh, ML algorithms. Also, we would uh, propose, due to the high cost of creating, collecting and training data, the use of progressive Latin hybrid group design, PLHD, for the generation of uh, sample points. Uh, in this case, each sample derived is uh, progressively from the previous one, preserving the LHD properties as uh, the sample size grows. Uh, here are our references, and basically that's all. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? Yes. Please. I have a question. Just uh, Everybody is complaining that they don't get enough data. You are solving a different problem, you say. I mean, uh, there are many cases that there are enormous amounts of data. Well, this, this is just an observation and it's an interesting problem that we might have solved. The figures that you showed us, how confident that you are that following is always going to be 
as we were before. Ours is always inferior in comparison with this uh, CL. Uh, is there any notion to say I'm 99% confident that the ordering, maybe the numbers uh, will vary, but I'm a uh, bit uh, confident that. Uh, well, this presentation is based on. Uh, some data sets, not only this, but a few more that um, showed that CLHS was indeed better than uh, random sampling. I'm not saying that it will be for every data set, but at least uh, for that data sets that are not, not uh, similar, very, could be very dissimilar to these ones. I believe that uh, it will provide better accuracy uh, now, if you're asking about a more theoretical... Uh, no, no, I'm asking uh, purely theoretically, because uh, I'm not sure I understood uh, fully what you meant uh, here, but uh, I'll give you an example. So, if you have uh, hundreds of uh, data points and you sample for 10, only 10, you would have repeated uh, this uh, sampling multiple times using your algorithms of uh, sampling, and then you would have uh, had a population of uh, things sampled using one of the methods and population of uh, samples from the other method. And then rather than comparing uh, one uh, set of 10 using RS and one set of 10 using the CLS, you could have compared any pair of this, how they compare, whether there is a, a sudden reverses when the a random sampling is giving you more accurate uh, uh, what I would call classification or prediction. Um, has anything like this been done? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, in those data sets, we took uh, first, we took both from RS and CLHS and 80% uh, uh, training of the all data sets. And then we reduced uh, CLHS. Uh, uh, train uh, sample from 80% to 65%, 50%, 40%. And it showed that in all cases, it was better than the 80% using random sample. Okay. The same number of seeds in order to exactly extract those figures. So, uh, second and other seeds, for example, uh, we do five in this uh, study. Um, second is a uh, specific random seeds, which means that the random points that we get in the data set are random, but uh, are the, have the same roundedness for the uh, first and the second and the sample method. It's not so that we have, uh, for example, 10 lots randomly uh, extracted from uh, random sample and 10 lots randomly extracted from uh, conditions and which uh, randomly pick the bad one for uh, random sample and a good one for condition like random sample and say that the condition is better. We say that the same random seed always for this study and for different random seeds that we did this, uh, uh, this study. Uh, it was always better. The, the always extracted points that were uh, better in uh, the weeds. The weeds got uh, more, more for me. Uh, Do you have time? Have yes, to, uh, of course. So, course. this whole idea that the uh, uniform is good is uh, questionable. It really uh, depends on the application. You have uh, clustering. The reality, we are arguing against uh, uh, randomization. Uh, if it is uh, uh, have clusters of, uh, where the data can be put here and here, why should you really be trying to spread the uh, samples as uh, uniform based on the uh, space? Uh, whether you use pure random sampling or this uh, stratified uh, thing. It really then depends on what data you are like to uh, see. It, it, it's going to always depend on what data set you use, what data you have received to use. Uh, but um, uh, 
Well, uh, uh, we are uh, doing such for uh, supervisors. So, when it's time to go to the last method, we are going to call it unsupervised. Yes, this was just about classification. As for uh, supervised machine learning, we have the classification tabs and also on the regression tabs, we are trying to do the same thing. Uh, it's uh, okay. I tried, <laughs> but yeah. we will have time after the coffee break. The last okay. one, so you can speak about that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> the last one.